dishes and dinner, and Mum and Dad wanted to start clearing the table. No. Why'd you help Mummy do the dishes? <laughs> How dare you put the stuff away and Mummy gets out of brick. Huh? Kenny, stop. Man, I hate that. You tell everybody you want to do nothing. Huh? Oh, go upstairs. Why? She doesn't want to do anything. She doesn't want to do anything. Don't you think that's a problem if I'm telling her not to do it? And now if you're doing it, that's half the reason she's up if you're giving in and I'm telling her she can't do something. She shouldn't be up in that room all day. What am I supposed to make her do? Make her she do what want you want her to do. This is your house and this is your life. If you tell her to stay out of the room, it's out of the day. David and I don't communicate at all. And I think that we both push a lot of um, responsibility for whatever it may be on the other person. How long have you two been at local heads with one another? Since Kate was born. Yeah, day one. How long was that? So probably, well, seven years. years. I'm not mad at her. I thought, no, not a seven-year-old is going to tell me or my wife what they're going to do if it's wrong. A lot of our issues are because of what to do with the kids. Chia and David both have two very different approaches when it comes to raising their children, and it's been going off just too long. Too bad. Mommy spent a half hour reading to you. That's fair enough. Lay down. Go ahead. Get up by the pillow. Lay down. Come on, Kenny. Get in your room. Tina? No, 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 no. Not again. Not another night. Let's go. Lay down. Don't. Into bed. Stay. Tina? Stay. Tina? Lay down. Get in bed. Do you want to bang? If I come back in here, I'm going to kid Tina. I kid you not. You guys are sleep. Good night. Control. It's getting later. People are tired. The kids just weren't listening to mum and dad. It was crazy time. Robert, right I'm now. Get in bed and leave Joy alone. Tina, just do it. Get in bed. Why can't you sleep with me? No, absolutely not. It is physically exhausting, but it's also mentally exhausting. I don't know what I'm doing anymore. Shut up, Tina. She told me to shut up. I didn't even say anything. Tell her not to try to shut up. You're here tonight. I do this every night. That was just ludicrous. There's mom and dad standing at the top of the stairwell waiting for a fight with the kids. Yeah, I'll try and calm Kenny down. Where you got kicked? I get bit and scratch and gouge. I don't want to hear about how you already get kicked. You're done. Say it again. You understand? Why are you doing this? No. no, you will listen to mommy and me. You will listen to mommy. It is bedtime. No. Lay down. I'm going to put you to sleep in a minute. Shut Two and a half hours later, it was 10 p.m. and there was still no resolve inside. I could see by the way mum was behaving that she was just going to surrender to it all and go and lay on that bed and I'd seen enough. Tomorrow morning we'll talk. It's okay. It's okay. It's a good time. Thanks. Tomorrow morning I'm going to sit mum and dad down and we've got a lot to discuss. Lay down. Ooh. beautiful children who are very loving, very articulate, have amazing sense of humour. They're good kids. Thank you. Thank you. But when you're at home with the kids, everything is go down to the basement, go and play, go and play, go and play, down in the holding cell. That basement doesn't create an environment of creativity. It's a joke. It's disgusting. If they're going to do something, writing on the wall, painting on the ceiling, or ruining the carpet, I'd much rather it be down there. Put them in a basement. Let them play with the toys. They got a lot of room down there, carpet, air, eat, whatever they want, and TV. Put them down there. They don't want toys. 
Cheer, David. What do they want? What do they want? Us. I noticed how there's a complete contrast in your parenting styles. David, you bark and you demand from them. You are up in your kids' faces. There. That's scary. Explain to Chia, why, why do you feel that you have to be that way? You're a good mother, but you're a passive mother. You're, you let them do things, and then I got stuck in. By the time I stepped in, I'm mad. Because I'm mad because you and I have been fighting or arguing. I'm mad because you're crying. And I'm mad because I got kids running this house. She's looking at you like you're a bully. Yeah. So she wants to protect him on one hand, but also doesn't know how to stand up for herself and be authoritative. Right, Chia? I tried to take control, but I do, I can feel. Let's talk about bedtime. No consistent bedtime routine exists. But what does exist is the anticipation, the adrenaline, the sword and a shield ready for bedtime. That's not a pretty sight watching you grab up your kid. Matt, that's not a pretty sight watching her bite everybody either and kick. No, it's not. And that's why I hold her down from doing because she likes to bite and she likes to kick. I'm just holding her, trying to get two points across, and then I walk out and I feel like a jack or a jerk. But that is what's coming across, David. We are seeing that. We are seeing you be a real meanie. Tina won't go down without a fight. 